And sports anchor Mike Cuneo joining us now. So how does D-Wade fit into the current Heat team? Well, smart money is that he'll probably start tomorrow night so he can get the proper introduction with fans and at the arena. And it'll it'll be nice to see against the Bucks. But it looks, I think, he'll probably end up coming off the bench. So he can still contribute. He's probably going to be one of the best two guards on the roster now, even though he is 36 years old. Uh, he's playing about 19 minutes a game, scoring 11 points per night. So there's definitely a lot to look forward to. He might be the piece the Heat need to get into the playoff. So it'll be interesting to see. The Cavaliers roster dump at the trade deadline led Dwayne Wade right to the Heat's doorstep. The 36-year-old coming back to Miami where he'll likely finish his career. It's been part of his plan since leaving to Chicago back in 2016. He's joking, are you for real? For real. For real. He for real? Oh yes, this is real, Hassan. Dwayne Wade will soon be suiting up at the AAA, a place he called his house for 13 years. Dwayne Wade with the steal! Players reacted to the trade as members of the media broke the news to them at practice. Many of them shocked they got him for a second round pick. You know, he's a hit lifer. I mean, he, uh, he, he put his, uh, these ranchers on his back when they need him. And, uh, you know, it, it would be awesome to, to bring the, our captain back. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could share my city with him again. <laughs> <laughs> He president Pat Riley told Wade a year and a half ago he'd have a key under the mat for the day he decided to come home. Well, that day has come, and any drama between the two is apparently water under the bridge. Warriors don't live in the past. The past is dead. Life is now, and the future is waiting. There's no bitterness, and uh, there's no regrets. Riley is right. It's time to move on, and fans agree. 176. They rushed to the arena to buy tickets for Wade's return against the Bucks Friday night. I, when I heard the man was back, I, I, I had to get tickets. My whole family is uh, coming. The resale prices are crazy right now. <laughs> they went up from like 30 bucks to like 100 bucks. He sure is a draw at the box office and a new dynamic weapon that should fit right in to the Heat offensive system. I love you, Wade, man. Throw them lives, you know. That'd be great. <laughs> he's going to bring a lot to that locker room. That's right, that's right. He's kind of that guy that kind of mixes well between the young guys because he helped bring them along, like the Josh Richardsons, the Hassan Whiteside, yep. the Justice Winslow, and connects with the older guys as well, Udonis Haslam. So he can be kind of a cohesive captain in that locker room. It'll be interesting if he's named captain again. That's a UD's title right now. All right, well, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks very much, Mike. Well, excited. Thank you, Mike. And if there's any doubt, Miami-Dade County is back <laughs> to being Miami-Wade County. This very bright sign at the airport makes it official. Tomorrow is going to be fun. We have interviews with Dwayne Wade, his father, players, and more all posted for you on CBSMiami.com. And we'll have live coverage all day leading up to tomorrow night's big game at the AAA.